Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2! Since last time, I rearranged my setup now that we've defeated the boss, so everything's pretty straightforward as far as accessories go. Got Healing Ring, Luck Ring for Hero, because that'll help his attacks out, Warrior Crests. Ronfire is pretty much the same as always, so I did give him a Wind Ring, because, spoiler alert, the Red Dragon Cave is going to have Fire Elemental monsters in there. And same thing as Hero for Jean there. And Lamina, same thing as always. Although now we get the Stardust Ring, so that really helps her out a lot. So, we're going to leave you behind, Mari. Even though I just fought to save your life and everything. That's what you said the last time. And the time before that. And the time before that. Oh. Oh, okay. Aww. Uh... Oh, yeah, he did kind of just take off like that. Forgot about him. What do you mean? Yeah, he's a jerk anyway. Well, I guess he is kind of your brother, but still. Oh, I thought we were doing pretty good. Kicking ass and taking names. Ha ha. Oh, wow. Well, eventually. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't need to take the dragon ship somewhere else to find a mysterious cave or whatever. We can just go right through. All right. Will do. Okay, let's check out the Red Dragon Cave. Although, how can it be the Red Dragon Cave if Ruby's still around with us? I mean, she never lived here. At least, as far as I know. Well, let's see. What's that? But you're already a dragon. Well, you better hurry up. Because otherwise, we're all going to die, probably. Or whatever Zophar wants to do. Who's there? Well, yeah, of course. Who likes that sort of thing anyway? Because he's a dragon too? Are you following us? Yeah, we can kind of nuke anything with our breath. Oh. It's not a physical thing? She's just going to be this small forever? Nuts. Well, yeah, you're a dragon. Couldn't you, like, grant me immortality or something like that? No. No, that's another dragon, viewers. Well, what do you mean? Could you be more specific? No? You're not going to tell us, are you? Now, how long ago was that? Oh. You, you will move on. You'll find someone else, Ruby. Oh. Isn't that an oxymoron? They'll still be alive in your mind, even though they're not alive. What? Aww. Uh. Aww. Oh. Is that good or bad? Aww. Oh. Well, you are a dragon. You don't just sleep in your cave for a hundred years on your pile of gold or anything like that. Or whatever dragons do. I don't know. I only know what the Nazgar tells me. Well, what? What did you do for us? You gave us the white dragon wings. 
Ooh, I already had a spell that did that. Well, okay. Bye. That's kind of creepy, Ruby. Okay, sounds like a plan. We didn't come all the way over here for nothing, Ruby. You better uh, grow up fast. Just like my last LP. Okay, so. Red Dragon Cave, pretty much the same as it was in the first game, as far as I can tell. But, uh, okay, so now we got Blood Slimes. Take a wild guess what element they're weak to, viewers. If you say fire, I'm gonna hit you. Anyway, okay, so. These guys are weak to ice! So I'm gonna use Freeze Smash! Ice Storm! Take him out all at once. Uh, you could give Lamina the. I think it's the Ice Staff as the multi targeting one? Whatever. But it won't be strong enough to kill those guys. So just use your magic and wipe them all out in one go. Boom! We're ready to go. So let's see what treasure we can get here. Oh, a new one. All right. Well, we already got one for Jean, so now we got to get one for Lamina there. All right. But yeah, every enemy in this area is going to be weak to ice. So this is probably, as far as the random encounters go, the easiest dungeon in the game. Because you can pretty much wipe anything out before they have a chance to hit you. Oh, and you might have noticed I changed my formation a little bit. Actually, Jean, hold on. You go attack that one. But yeah, I changed my formation because Ronfar really doesn't need to be doing that stuff anymore. He's got... We, we've got Crest. He has a really good wisdom stat, so if I really needed him to contribute, he could. By the way, the guys there, the Infernal Ghouls, just like uh, we met up with in Azato, except these guys are a little bit harder. But yeah, when it's just kind of sitting there, they'll attack normally. When its mouth is moving, they'll attack your entire party. So you want to take them out pretty quickly. They're not that fast, though. Even Hero can take his turn before they do. So, all right. And by the way, those Blood Slimes, they'll, they only have one attack. They'll try to attack you somehow. I don't know, punch you or something with their body or whatever. And they will try to put you to sleep that way. So, but we can kill them before that ever happens anyway. So I don't feel a dew ring or fresh ring is really necessary in this place. All right, well, here we got another new enemy, Pyromaniac. It's like a Lego maniac, except you die. Okay, so let's use lightning there. And, let's see, now the Pyromaniacs, when it's just kind of standing there, he'll just attack one of your characters. But if he's levitating in place, then he's going to attack you for more damage. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that. Now, I am using a lot of magic with Lumina here. Don't be afraid at all to use your uh, Starlights to recover her MP. We're killing them so fast, even the Stardust String doesn't have time to work. So, but yeah, I mean, we, we don't have a healing point before the boss here, but we'll be okay. Just use your starlights. I have so many of them, we might as well start dumping them now before I hit the cap anyway. Yeah, they've even got a couple starlights in this area too. So I was at 20 before I started this area. So, well, let's see if we can find some more treasure up here. I think there's one to the right. No? Okay, took care of those guys. And we're still good on HP. If you take more than zero damage in this dungeon, you're doing it wrong. You should be able to wipe them out so quickly. Okay, cleared out all the enemies on this floor. If we go down here, we get... Ooh, new armor for Hero, I would assume. Yep, there it is. Straight upgrade. Nice. All right, well, I think that's everything on this floor, so let's move on to the big one. Let's see, there's one more new enemy around here that I can show off here, I think. Hey, get back here.
Okay, there's the new one, a Flame Berserker. When you see it uh, telling you to talk to the hand, that means that he's going to attack with a zone attack. If he's just kind of standing still, then he'll just attack normally. So, but he should be pretty easy to take down. And yeah, I'm going to use Free Smash, even though I could probably do well enough with uh, the zone ice spell. I forget what it's called. <laughs> I could kill the three slimes there, but I wouldn't be able to kill that guy, probably. He's not very fast, though. In fact, he's pretty slow. Almost as slow as Lamina. That's sad. Okay, well, that's all the new enemies around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out all the rest of the enemies in the dungeon. And I'll be right back. Okay, took care of all the enemies around here. So let's take a look around, see what treasure we can find. Got a tiger armlet there for Jean, so let's give that to her. Awesome. I also gave the yellow pajamas combo to Ronfar. You don't have to give it to him, I just think of him as the kind of guy that I would want to give it to, I guess. I don't know. And an ogre crest. I forget exactly what that does. Let me look it up here. Okay, uh, I think what that means is when you attack an enemy then it turns your regular physical attack into a line attack, which will hit any enemy that's behind it. But I think that's pretty damn useless. So I'm not going to bother with that. So, yeah, you can't do that with stabs, obviously. Thank you for letting me know, game. All right. Let's see. I think that's most of the treasure around here. Oh, no, there's... Whoa. Yeah, uh, don't touch the fire. Take a while. Guess what happens if you do? Well... Well, let's find out. Uh, you know, I don't want to take one damage for all my party members by touching that, because that'll really bother my OCD. So I'm not going to touch it. And, well, I'm just going to leave you in suspense, viewers. But anyway, yeah, just don't touch the fire. Don't stand in the fire either. Get out of the way. Get out of the fire. Get out of the damn fire! Sorry, I'm just having traumatic flashbacks to MMOs. Ugh. Okay, so anyway, let's see around here. Oh, nothing! There would be enemies roaming around here, but I killed them all. They made me angry. And hungry. But mostly angry. Hmm, I need a pizza. Okay, so, got a water ring there that'll protect us against fire. Not that fire, just, you know, during battles and stuff. So, all right. I'll probably give the water ring to someone. Let's see. Oh, nothing there. Okay. Let's see. I think that's all the treasure on this floor. And let's see. Okay, I think this is the last part. But anyway, go down here. Ooh, I don't know what that does. <laughs> so, let's check it out. So many little rings, it's hard to remember everything. Let's see, where'd it go? Shield ring? There you are. Uh, hmm. I'm guessing that means physical attacks instead of force ring. So, yeah, I don't know exactly how that works. I never really use it. It's not a big deal. So, let's uh, grab this. Another angel ring. Can never have enough of that. And let's see. Where's the last one? Ah, there we go. Angel's tier. Nice. Okay, so, before moving on... Stop, uh, running, hero. Stop. Stop. Stop running! Thank you. Okay, so, now what I'm gonna do, let's take a look at our setup here. Got healing ring. I'm gonna give you the force ring to help protect you in the boss fight. Where'd it go? I have such a hard time finding these damn things. I swear, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. At least that's what my mom always said. It's the Bailey curse. Oh, well. Okay, so, let's see. Let's get you back on some real equipment there. And, let's see. Miracle, or healing ring. And, let's see. The water ring. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, give you that. And, let's see. Healing. I'm going to give you the wind ring because your magic defense is pretty bad. 
She'll take a lot of damage, and she doesn't have that much HP, so... Uh, yeah, that's the right one. I should probably give you the cute ribbon, which I keep on forgetting to do during boss fights, because I usually don't do that. At least in my test runs, I didn't. Let's see, okay, you're gonna stay on the Stardust and Gorgon now, but I do want you to have the Magic Eye Crest. I'll list my setup in the video description there for those who don't want to take notes for all this stuff. Give you a couple of Magic Eye Crests. We don't really need uh, anything else there. And... Hmm, MP? Yeah, we're doing fine on MP. I used a couple of them on Lamina, so we would have enough for the boss fight here. So, let's see. Put you right there. That'll do. That'll do. Well, good thing I made a backup save there, because I forgot something. Want to give the Rusty Dagger to Ronfar there. And is my formation screwed up? Yes, it is. Oh, well. We'll do this again. Sorry about that, viewers. Lucia, get up there. And I'll put Hero right next to you, just to keep an eye on you. Okay. And I think we're all set and ready to go. Time to put this guy on ice. For boss time against the Red Fiend. Okay, so. First things first. You see that circle of fire? Or burning ring of fire below him? That means he's going to change the field element. Unfortunately, he's so slow. He's even slower than Lamina when he uses that. So... We're not going to be able to preemptively get rid of that. So just use a good Doppel Dance there. And let's see. I think for now, let's just go with the uh, Ice Arrows there. That should do. Gypsy Dance! Yeah, this fight's going to take a while, so it's a good idea to use Doppel Dance. Give you more Die DPS. This. Now, eventually, I will want to use, uh, uh, what is it? Whatever that ar or armor breaking thing that Ronfire has. The name is sli slipping from my mind. Whatever. Destruction. Ow, that hurts. That's worse than an atomic wedgie. So, yeah. A lot of damage, but we'll be okay. Wow, I'm surprised Lamina took so much damage. Hmm. Well, whatever. Anyway. Okay, so now, when you see him just kind of sitting there like that, that means he's going to, uh, well, I think just attack your entire party. So, okay. Um, yeah, we really need a lot of healing. So let's go do that. Oh, not a Dapple Dance. Want to go with Blue Dragon Palm. And Lamina, I want her to erase the field element that the Red Fiend put there for us to play with. Okay, now uh, this attack that he does, it'll just hit a line in front of him. So he's going to attack Ronfar and then Hero and Jean. And that's why I put those two in the middle with the wind and water rings. Or, well, the force ring for Hero, but you know what I mean. And Hero has enough HP, er, yeah, enough HP that he doesn't really need to worry about that too much. Ow. Well, you're okay, Hero. We're regenerating HP so ridiculously fast, it doesn't matter. Let's see, still got the doppelganger? Good. Okay, now when you see the pentagram below him, just like all the other fiends, that means he's going to buff himself up. And for some reason, that also means that he's going to go first in the round no matter what, which is good, so that way I can just preemptively use Dispel Magic on him to get rid of that. And who am I targeting? Ah, there we go. So yeah, now I can... Oh. Ronfar is going to debuff him, but Lamina's going to cancel it out anyway. Well, whatever. Not a horrible loss. Ah, Fractured Armor. I keep 
keep forgetting the name of that thing because we usually don't have it. Yeah. Great job, Ronfar. Magic cure. Destruction. Did the boss just boost its attack twice? I was just. My mind went blank and I was like. What? I don't know. Oh, well. Okay, now when you see his wings flapping like that, that means he's going to attack you, well, with just one character. In this case, Ronfar. So let's just defend there, so that way I don't have to worry about that too much. And now we can pretty much go all out, because he's not going to buff himself uh, for a w little while. In fact, I don't think he's going to at all for the remainder of the battle. He doesn't seem to do that too much. I don't know. I don't think he has a fixed AI script, but I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I just know how to recognize what he's doing. Whoa! Ow! Quit it. I can regenerate more HP than you can damage me. That is sad. You could probably say that about a lot of bosses in this game if you have the right setup. And you know when to defend and what to recognize and all that. See, I don't mind obliterating bosses like this if... I have to actually earn it, like, recognizing what you need to do and all that stuff. I only really ban stuff if I feel like the game's just kind of handing it to me on a silver platter, or if I think it's just going to make everything less interesting. Oh, I ran out of the uh, doppelganger there. Oh, well. Sorry, I didn't hear you from the future, viewers. Oh, well. No, no. Huge loss, but I should get my doppelganger going again. Ice storm. Yeah, this is probably the easiest of the four themes, along with the dungeon itself. Just because we actually have a element that we can target a weakness with, and his attacks aren't anything to really worry about, so... See, yeah, Hero, he's just doing just fine. Let's see, okay, he's going to change the field element again, so, um, let's see. Not much I can do about that. Yeah, I'll just go with another Fractured Armor, whatever. Actually, by now, it might not be worthwhile to use Dapple Dance, just because we've probably almost killed him. I mean, he does have quite a bit of HP to compensate for all that weakness there, but still. Dodge this! pretty easy to take him out. Yeah. Even if I had a good buff for Lamina, like the power charge or whatever it is that boosts your physical attacks, I wouldn't use it in this fight just because we have an elemental weakness and that's more damage than we probably would gain by buffing up my party appropriately. Ow. Whoa, that actually hurt. <laughs> I didn't expect it to hurt that much. Okay, so now... Yeah, he's just going to attack normally. So, let's go with that. Oop. Go back to Blue Dragon Palm and Ice Arrows. Blue Dragon Palm! You would think that would deal more damage to the Red Fiend there. I mean, it's a blue dragon thing. It should be like Water Elemental or something. But then I suppose if a boss resisted it, then they would take less damage. It should be non-elemental, I guess. But, well, whatever. Hit the diamond on his back. Alright, got it. Oh, come on! I could have used that in the boss fight. Oh well. But all right. Well, at least we took care of him. I'm not used to only being able to run short distances now. I'm spoiled. Oh well. But will Ruby ever really grow up and let us get the Red Dragon Crest? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar Two. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!